Kia ora, I'm Shiri Knair and this is the COVID-19 news update for Wednesday. The number of daily community cases stayed low today, but Delta has returned to the Wellington region, while more Omicron cases emerged at the border. Six new cases of Omicron were detected in recent returnees in MIQ, taking the total number of international arrivals to New Zealand with the variant to 28. The ministry said in their statement today, health and MIQ teams have been carefully planning for Omicron cases at the border and will continue to manage all arrivals cautiously. It comes as 56 new cases of COVID were detected in the community, 33 in Auckland, 6 in Waikato, 11 in Bay of Plenty, 4 in Lakes District, 1 in Taranaki and 1 in Hutt Valley. The rolling day average of community cases is now 59.7. The new case in the Hutt Valley area has a link established the Lakes DHB area. The case is self-isolating and case interviews have identified a small number of household contacts who are also self-isolating with testing arranged. Across the country, there are 51 people in hospital and seven in ICU as of today. The average age of current hospitalizations is 50. South Canterbury DHB is expected to become the 11th DHB to hit the 90% fully vaccinated milestone later today, based on uptake among its eligible population. Next in line are Hawke's Bay and Waikato. Response Minister Chris Hipkins yesterday confirmed a number of changes that would impact managed isolation, the border and 5 to 11 year olds. The young age group will now be able to get vaccinated with their parents' permission from January 17th, while the proposed reopening of the border on the same day has been pushed out until the end of February. It's meant at least 27,000 people have had their travel plans overturned with the extension. Anyone staying in MIQ will also have their stay extended from 7 to 10 days in light of the Omicron strain currently ravaging other parts of the world. And that's the latest COVID news for today. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz.